Hey up everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History channel. Tonight's video is going to be my round 14 tips for the 2022 NRL season. This is a round which is during origin period and it's going to be a round where team lists are going to be impacted, especially if players cannot back up after that first origin match. There's some good matches to talk about. We've got Sydney Roosters against Melbourne. We've also got a very old and fierce rivalry to talk about as well. So let's get started. And the first match to kick off round 14 isn't on Thursday. This one's being played on Friday. There's no Thursday game this round. And it's between North Queensland and St George. This one's being played at the Queensland Country Bank Stadium in Townsville. North Queensland sat in third at the moment. St George sat in ninth. The head-to-head -head between these two sides in recent times has actually been quite close. There's been five wins each out of the last ten encounters. And the last time that St George went to Townsville, they beat North Queens, and that was in round two, 2021. They beat North Queens in 25 points, eating up there in Townsville. Uh, there's going to be a lot of players returning, hopefully, for North Queensland for, for their sake after the origin period. St George also have one or two players selected for State of Origin. However, I will go for North Queens in the win 1 to 12. I think that they've been playing well this year, and I can see them getting another victory over St George. The first match on the Saturday is between the Gold Coast and South Sydney. This one's being played at the Sebo Super Stadium on the Gold Coast. South Sydney sat in 8th at the moment, Gold Coast sat in 15th. South Sydney have won 8 of their last 10 encounters against the Gold Coast. And in some of their recent victories over the Gold Coast, they've scored more than 30 points in each of them encounters. So they've been winning the matches quite convincingly. With the goal course as well, they're going to be without Jaden Campbell, who is one of their main attacking weapons. So they're going to be really missing him over the next couple of weeks. He's got a hamstring injury. South Sydney have been up and down this year. Uh, I tipped against them. I thought that West Tigers would do the double over them. It didn't happen. South Sydney had a convincing win. Now they've had the bye. They've got a couple of players hopefully retaining from the origin period as well. The goal course only had one player retaining from the origin um from game one. I will go for South Sydney to win this match 1-12. I think it'll be a closer match up there on the goal course, but I just see South Sydney getting the victory and uh, continuing their winning run. The second match on Super Saturday is between Sydney Roosters and Melbourne. This one's being played at the Sydney Creek Ground, the old lady. Melbourne have won their last four encounters against Sydney Roosters. The last time that uh, Eastern Suburbs actually beat Melbourne was in the 2019 preliminary final and I remember that match quite well. I was up early in the morning uh, listening to it on the radio and when East won at full time, I was considering drinking early in the morning but <laughs> I chose against it. I had a few pints later on in the afternoon. Anyways, uh, for Melbourne, it looks like Nelson Asafa Solomon is going to be back for them. For East, they've got a few players coming back from the origin period, hopefully, same as Melbourne. For this game, I will go for Melbourne to win 1-12 at the City Creek Ground. I think that they've been the more consistent side this year, and I think that they will beat East on the Super Saturday. The final game of Super Saturday is between Brisbane and Canberra. Brisbane sat in 4th, Canberra sat in 11th. This one's being played at Suncorp Stadium. Canberra's won their last three matches against Brisbane. However, Brisbane's going for seven in a row, which is something that they haven't done in a very long time. Adam Reynolds is also set to retain as well, which is going to be a massive boost, uh, boost for Brisbane. Canberra are a very funny side. They've been up and down this year. They're one of them teams where you pick against them and they win, and then you pick them and then they lose. They're one of those sides. For this match... I'm going to go for Brisbane to win. I think that uh, confidence is high. And why not? I think that they can win seven in a row. And at the moment, they're sat in fourth. They could potentially go higher. 
So I'm going to go for Brisbane to win 1 to 12 on the Super Saturday over Cambry. The first match on the Sunday is between West Tigers and Manly Warringah. This one's being played at Campbelltown Sports Ground or Campbelltown Stadium. West Tigers sat in 13th at the moment and Manly sat in 10th. In the last 10 meetings between these two sides, uh, West have won 6 and Manly's won 4. But with Manly going out to Campbelltown, they've played a, a total of 13 matches since 1987 and they've won 10 of them. So Campbelltown's not exactly somewhere that Manly uh, are, are fearful of going. But for West, they've got a massive boost from what I've read. Adam Dwayhe or Dewey is going to be retaining for this match. So that's going to be a massive boost for West Tigers, especially with Michael Maguire under a lot of pressure. I've heard that there's rumours that he could be sacked or this could be his final match. I will go for Manly to win this game, though. Uh, I was very impressed with them last week against New Zealand, so I'll go for Manly to win 1-12 at Campbelltown. The second match on the Sunday sees Newcastle up against Penrith. This one's being played at McDonald Jones Stadium. Newcastle sat in 12th at the moment, and Penrith, they're the league leaders at the moment. They're ahead by four points, ahead of Melbourne. With Penrith against Newcastle, Penrith have won seven of the last ten Matches against Newcastle, and there was also a draw in there. I think two years ago, it finished fourteen all. Penrith, um, even without their stars, are a very good side, and I imagine that a, a few of them will be retaining for the the game on the Sunday after Origin won. Uh, Newcastle have had a very disappointing year, to say the least. I will go for Penrith to win this match between 1-12. to I think it'll be a close game. However, I just think that Penrith will be too strong and there's a reason why they're the league leaders at the moment. So I'm going to go for Penrith to win 1-12. to The final match on the Sunday is between New Zealand and Cronulla Sutherland. This match is being played at the Martin Daly Stadium in Redcliffe. New Zealand sat in 14th at the moment and Cronulla is sat in 6th. Uh, from what I've read... Jesse Ramian is coming back into the Cronulla side and for New Zealand, Josh Curran's coming back into the side which will be a big boost for them. Cronulla have won eight of their last ten matches against New Zealand. They certainly love playing against New Zealand. Um, from what I've also watched on YouTube and read through Hold the Ball, Warriors NRL Fanatics and apparently on NRL 360, uh, Nathan Brown is set to be sacked as New Zealand head coach and it, he's going to be replaced by Stacey Jones. So there's been issues with um, New Zealand this year. They haven't been playing very well and apparently Nathan Brown is not committed to heading back to New Zealand to be the head coach there. So they're going to move forward with Stacey Jones but that's just an alleged report. But even if it is true and... He does get sacked. I'm still going to go for Cronulla to win this match. I'm going to go for them to win 1-12. I just think that New Zealand are in a really bad hole at the moment. They haven't been playing well. I think Cronulla have been playing better this year. So I will go for Cronulla to beat New Zealand on the Sunday there at Redcliffe. And the final match of the round is kicking off on the Bank Holiday Munda. It's between Canterbury Bankstown and Parramatta. This one's being played at Stadium Australia. This, in my personal opinion, is the second biggest rivalry in the NRL. Parramatta and Canterbury absolutely hate each other. The fans dislike each other as well. I mean, there's even an I hate the Parramatta Reels and I hate Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs Facebook pages. And being a Parramatta supporter myself, I, I know what this game is like and what it means. Uh, Parramatta have won nine of their last ten encounters against Canterbury. Um, and also, when we look at the head-to-head -head historically, Paramount has played more games against Canterbury than any other side that they've ever faced against. Uh, they've played 150 matches since 1947. Paramount has won 68. Canterbury's won 77 and there's been five draws. However, Paramount only beat Canterbury eight times between 1947 and 1960 when Paramount were shite in the, in the early days. They didn't win too many matches, but... Uh, big news for Parramatta from what I've read Mike Asivo he's had a couple of matches in the New South Wales Cup he's he's done pretty well and it looks like he's going to get selected there on the wing Canterbury look to be unchanged in their lineup. I think Tavita Pangai Jr might be out but it's going to be the same side that 
lost against Penrith the other, the other week. Um, this is a, a rivalry game, as I've mentioned before. Form go, goes out the window with these type of matches. It doesn't matter if Parramatta's last or Canterbury's last. These games always bring out the best in both sides. I will pick Parramatta to win this match 1-12. I think this will be a very tight match. I wouldn't even be surprised if Canterbury lead at certain times in the, in the game. As I said, this is a match full of feeling and a lot of emotion. And I'm pretty sure that the Canterbury players are going to be up for this match just as much as the Parramatta players. But I think Parramatta, if they really are serious this year, they should beat Canterbury. So I'm going to go for Parramatta to win 1-12. So that has been my tipping video for round 14 of the 2022 NRL season. I hope you enjoyed these tips. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know who you're tipping, face try scorers, and if you've got a bet on or out like that. Hopefully, this week, there'll be another episode of The View from the North podcast. That's me, myself, Rugby League History, and Just Rugby League, a.k.a. Dave. We couldn't do it last week due to some work commitment issues and some other things going on. We've both been quite busy, so hopefully this Wednesday, there'll be another episode of that coming out. Stay tuned. And I'll be doing a couple of other videos throughout the week. Thanks everyone for watching this video. And I'll catch us all later in the next one. Alright, tell you bye for now.